Welkom terug. Nou kijk, dit is niet elke dag wat onze internationale kunstenaar bij ons het nie, maar vanochtend op die Geelbank kijk er natuurlijk Veronica Vassar bij ons vanuit Zwitserland en ons gaan ons gesels oor al muziek sê gaan ook later vir ons sing sal sien baar uit daarna. Good morning and welcome, Veronica. Good morning. Thank you for having me. <laughs> it's such a pleasure. I mean, we need to get to know you and we need to go all the way back to where did your love for music start? Um, very early. Um, music has always been a part of my life. I've always loved doing it. It's just been around and I've been uh, in school choirs as well as in school bands. And I, I was wherever there was music, I was like front in line <laughs> and like, yes, I'm up for it. Um, and then, you know, I started writing songs at some point, I started playing the guitar and I just developed into this passion and people tell you you're good at something and then it motivates you to like mm. do it more and better and mm. stuff and yeah, here we are in Johannesburg. <laughs> All the way to Johannesburg. Where do you originally come from? Just for the, the public who do not know where, you come, where you're from. So I um, I'm from, I grew up in Switzerland. Um, my dad is Italian, my mom is Swiss. I grew up in a... 50-50 household, but uh, I grew up in Thun, which is a small city, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, on the north side of the Alps. Oh, wow. Close to the mountains. There's a lake and it's very cheesy, but yeah. Fairy tale country. Fairy tale country. Very, very. Yes, yes. Is this your first time in South Africa? <laughs> yes, it is. First time in my life. And how long have you been here now? When did you land? Yesterday morning. Wow, okay, yeah. so, okay. Fresh <laughs> off the airplane, what are you looking forward to most to sing in South Africa? I mean, just being able to experience uh, a little bit, of course, uh, of Johannesburg, South Africa. Um, I hope to get to eat a lot of nice food, um, local stuff, and uh, just being able to play here, honestly. I'm, I'm very much looking forward to, to the gig and meeting people. And, yeah, mm. and being here as well is just very cool. So you say looking forward to playing. Where are you playing in South Africa? I'm playing on the, at the festival called On the Lawn. Yeah. It's at Mark's Park mm -hmm. on uh, Saturday, December 3rd. Um, the exact time I don't remember. It's, I think it's, it's, it's one. It's a day festival. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. exactly. It's a day festival. Exactly. And there's lots of cool other artists playing as well. So yeah. Yeah, what's really nice is I saw that someone like Neon Dreams is also coming back and Neon Dreams is also not an international band, so it's really quite nice and they keep coming back. They've been here and ever since they've been to South Africa, they keep coming back to South Africa. So hopefully you have the same experience, Veronica, where you go, you know what, I just love the country so much, I'm going to keep coming back to this country. I would definitely love to, yeah, sure. <laughs> when cool. you landed here, what's yeah. the first odd thing that caught your eye? Odd because thing. there's a lot of odd things happening in, here, in this country. What's the first thing that you passed by or happened and you thought, well, that, that's strange? Um, to be honest, it, it's not, it wasn't quite of a that strange moment. It was actually on the plane still. It was just amazement. <laughs> oh, it starts on the plane already. <laughs> yes, Nothing so. bad. I was just like, I was looking out the window and I saw we were just half an hour before landing, basically. And, and these endless long roads that end into nothing. And it's like, it's so impressive to me because in Switzerland, you know, it's a very small country. Mm -hmm. There's, you, you won't find a place where you can like see a house at least. So it's like so beautiful to see this nature, this world that's like, wow, that's so impressive. So it wasn't strange, but it was really impressive for me because yeah, I'm not used to seeing just I think the open spaces, yes, the open spaces exactly. might be a thing. Are you, are you planning on traveling when you're here? I, I unfortunately don't have the time to. I would love to. I mean, I've heard about, um, what, how do you call it, game farms? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. That's how you call them. But yeah, because obviously we don't have those animals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm afraid we won't be able to. And you're on a very a tight schedule when you're yes, here as well. Yes, yes. But that's why I hope to be back so I can do proper touristy. <laughs> Absolutely. See, that's also our hope. We also always want people just to come back and yes. do like proper touristy things Absolutely. with us yes. and everything like that. Can we just speak about your album? Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Um, sure. Tell us about this album. Is, has it been released? When is it being released? Um, what is the feel of the album? So the album is coming out January 20th of next year, so wow. soon. And uh, it's going to be my first full-length album with 10 tracks on it. Um, Fantastic. And uh, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to it. It's going to be a mix of organic, raw music, soul, but pop, alternative. It's that sound world. It's recorded mostly live with a band in, in a studio. And uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. And that's your debut album? Yes. Oh, that's yes. very exciting. Yes. I mean, that's a, such a nice way to start off the year, you know, start off the year with the Bangs, brand new album. Did you do the writing on the album? 
most of it. So there's a few co-writes on it, um, like Summer Lightning, which is already out, or um, another song called I Don't Remember You. Uh, but I would say like 80% I wrote by myself in, in oh. Switzerland and I have like a little studio in the basement. Um, there's a little window, a little bit of daylight. <laughs> um, but yeah, the rest was, um, there's a few collaborations, as I said. You're talking about collaborations. You've performed with, not collaborate, performed with people like, like Dire Straits and Eagle Eye Cherry. You've performed <laughs> at Glastonbury. Uh, um, you, you, you've had a, a global reach. You've had a, a worldwide impact at this stage. Uh, in South Africa, it needs to pick up. You need to be a little bit aware of your talent and your abilities. But it, it's by <laughs> far not like you would say a mm. debut album that some people would think that's the first album. You've been around for quite some time. Well, I mean, it feels for me like I'm still at the very beginning, as you say, because there's so many things that I want to achieve and do. But yeah, I've, I've released, I've previously released like mini albums called EPs with yeah. like five songs in it, which are just handy to work with and put out something. And I've toured before a lot. And, but still, it's like quite a, a milestone for me personally as an artist to like put this debut album. I know people say albums don't, matter anymore but I, I firmly believe that they it's a it's a more than just one song and I care a lot about the whole story of the album so wow. yeah, we had a guest previously uh, in the week that said it's like writing a novel mm. yeah it's a whole story of yes. a full old album yeah I would say the same yeah because it, it gives you the opportunity to like not just obviously you have 10 songs and you have this long story that you can tell basically but it's also visually it's like you create this whole world with videos, with press pictures, with anything you put out on the socials, it's like you get this um, possibility to create this world around um, music. I do want to ask, because you said, you know, it feels to you as if you're just at the start of your career because there's so many things you still want to accomplish and achieve. What are some of those things? What are some of those goals that you have set for yourself? Well, um, one thing I always mention is I want to play one day at the Madison Square Garden in New ah, York. Wow. Um, that's like the mm. top, you know, one of the top <laughs> things. But also, I mean, just getting to play in new countries every time is like, it's surreal because it's yeah. crazy. I'm, I'm just doing what I love. I'm just making music and um, it sort of happens, you know, progressively. Step by step, we're getting closer to Madison Square. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's a dream Fantastic. that has to happen. I, I'm just as, as a bit of a, 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 a beside, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, quick fire questions. First thought in your head, go with your gut, just so people get to know you a little better. We know you're an international celeb, but you're also a human being. So here we go. <laughs> Growing up, what was your favorite age? Uh, you... 17 was nice, but also, you mean like age? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay, 17. You see, rebel, that kind of thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, would you say you're more of an introvert or an extrovert? Mm, a mix, I would say. A mix, okay. Yeah. Well, that's, uh, come on. All right, favorite <laughs> holiday. What's your favorite holiday and why? Um, uh, well, Christmas is coming up. I love, I don't, the thing is, at the Christmas itself, the thoughts of being family to... It's not a short answer, I'm sorry. No, go on. <laughs> <laughs> I love the thought of, you know, people gathering and it's all, yes, you know, yes, it's yes, nice. Yes. But actually, I really like Christmas here because it's warm in Switzerland. It's cold. <laughs> and I, I'm not a cold fan. I'm just... Wow. I need the sun. So I, I'm really enjoying this, actually. Lovely. A sunny Christmas. Uh, yes. When it comes to pets, what kind of a pet person are you? Fish, cat, dog, pony, what, what, what? Dog, for sure. Are you a dog person? Yes. Why? Because, <laughs> I don't know, I, I like dogs. They're cute and they're... My grandma has a dog and I, I grew up more around dogs. And I'm a little bit allergic to cats, but ah. they're still cute, but like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. and, I, and I think, uh, like, out of all the other options, pony and fish, the dog <laughs> is probably the best hey, one. I'm working here. <laughs> <laughs> what activity instantly calms you? Something you need to relax? What do you do? Music. Listening wow. to music, Frank Ocean specifically. Frank like, Ocean. Yes. Wow, incredible. Oh, wow. Very. Well, I think we've got to know you a little better now. Yes, thank you very much. And, and, and you're you. going to sing a song for us later on today. We are yes. so looking forward to it. Yes, same. I would love to sing, yeah. Uh, what, you. what will you be singing? Um, I'll be singing a song from the album that's already out, a song called Better With You. It's oh, a little wow. love song. Uh, it's thank a nice, you. very nice song. 
it, mm. it echoed through the house last night and the kids went, what's that? That's not <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I'm looking forward. Thank you. Veronica, thank you so much for visiting us. Um, we really hope you enjoy your show, also upcoming show, and we really hope that you enjoy South Africa so much that you just decide to actually come back and visit us again. Thank you. I, I'm sure I will love it. Thank you so much for having me. Blijf geweest en geschakel, want Bikkie altijd hoor je ook hoe ze eruit die kiefonds zijn.